G'day everyone, it's Angelo Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo, bringing you the yellow ladder tip of the day 173. Today I want to talk to you about how you can rebound after a terrible deal. And I'll tell you this guys, I've done over 400 real estate transactions in the last five years and I've absolutely lost my fucking ass on a ton of them. It just comes down to making more money than you lose. Real estate is a roller coaster of a ride. Some deals are just gonna end up in disaster, you're gonna lose money, and there's nothing you can really do about it, to be honest with you. I always like to tell my investors that safety comes in numbers. The more properties that you buy for your portfolio, if one deal is going sour because of a shit ass tenant, or a shit property management company, or, what it, or whatever it may be, um, the safety will come in numbers because you're gonna have these other properties that are still going to be producing cash flow, so you're not gonna to feel too upset about that one deal not performing. Now, when you do lose money on a transaction, if you are flipping, like I mostly do, the best way of recovering from it is just to keep moving forward, guys. You can't dwell too long on the fucking mistakes that you made. You have to let go of them as quickly as you can, focus on moving forward, focus on the other deals, focus on your bigger picture, focus on your vision, okay? Now, I love making mistakes, I love failing because I believe that I learn more from the mistakes that I make than from the successes. So let me get a little bit philosophical here. When you make a mistake and when you lose money on a particular deal, you are depressed for days. You can't sleep. Every action that caused that financial loss will haunt you. You will replay the film in your mind over and over and over again. And guess what guys, that is good. That is fantastic because when you are replaying that shit, you will know where you went wrong and you will not make those same mistakes moving forward. So try and get that out of your system as quickly as you can. Don't dwell on it for too long and move on to the next deal. Now, why I say it's better to lose money, well, it's not better to lose money, but why you will learn more from losing money is because when you do lose money, you evaluate everything down to the finer details. When you make money, you don't do that. You're on top of the world, your ego is blossoming, you think you're fucking top shit, and you don't actually take a step-by-step -step view of what enabled you to make money on that particular transaction. So, to conclude my little philosophy there, Every experience is a good experience, if it's good or if it's bad, as long as you perceive it to be. So every experience is a good experience, if it's good or if it's bad, as long as you perceive it to be a good experience. So that's my little philosophical quote. Um, I'm done. Any questions, give us a call, send us an email. Description below will reveal a ton of links. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm Angela Ramora. I'm your favorite Australian. And the real estate dingo, you guys have a great day. Caught him!